okay what i said was to press the windows key in your laptop and press r you will get the run tab like this can you see in my screen in that you type cmd cmd stands for command is it okay pranav now cmd and you give okay you will get this command from i think varsha is using a mac uh, i know uh, i think you will you can do something similar like this right you can open it okay anything is fine uh, pranav you got it right you got this window something similar to this okay very good. you type python here and press enter you got it this the screen where you get three angled uh, brackets like this yeah python and press enter okay so let me begin so this is the python shell we call it as the shell okay here you can see it's already giving you some commands like help copyright credits license for more information so you can give those commands and try that okay le, le, first let me try copyright and press enter see it, it gives the copyright message saying python software foundation copyright all copyright all rights reserved from 2001 to 2020 and uh, some uh, other company copyrights also it has okay so you get some copyright message and uh, what about license type license and brackets open and close to see the full license text okay here you give you get all the complete license how it is distributed and what licensing clauses are there you can read everything you can press q to quit from it 
ओके क्यू एंड प्रेस एंटर एंड वॉट एल्स वी सॉ समथिंग लाइक हेल्प वी सॉ राइट ओके आई एम गोइंग टू टाइप हेल्प Okay, so for interactive help, it is saying for interactive help, it is saying to type help and open bracket and close bracket. So here you get interactive help in Python. So what are all the things available? Modules, keywords, symbols, or topics you can type like this modules keywords symbols or topics let's type keywords okay so these are the python keywords these are like the commands in which you talk to the python so only through this way you can talk to python so some of you might have seen this if and for okay else if else continue so these are the commands or the language in which you can talk to the computer through python okay so in english how do we use a language like uh, hello uh, good morning or good day we wish them so th like english has so many words but python has very few words okay so these are the words we will be using in python and the words in language we call it as a word but in computer language we call with a special term called keyword so these all are keywords okay you cannot have a you cannot use the keyword for some other purpose it is only used for talking to the python program okay i told you these are uh, keywords right so let me quickly give an example i'm just closing these we go to this online python compiler so this is the online python compiler i'm just sharing it for you you can open it in your browser if you want okay now i am back to the browser so uh, like these are comments they are of uh, they uh, the computer will not understand the comments nor it will try to evaluate them so this is just for our understanding i am going to delete this so let's see something like print is there here in this keyword can anybody find out if print is there okay print is not here i guess okay so they are in alphabetical order there is return okay so these keywords right if i am going to use them the keywords like uh, say for equal to 2 that means i am creating a box and naming the box as for and in that box i am keeping a value 2 so i'm going to run this see here you got an error why is that error because you did not use the for which is a keyword how do i say it is a keyword because it is in this keyword list 
it's a python special word to talk to the python program okay so you cannot use it uh, in in your own way it has to be used in a special way only then the computer can understand so you have to be careful when using the variable names which you give for the container so you have a box and you want to name it you can give something like this age equal to 2 age equal to 2 and if you run then it is a success okay you haven't got any error message over here that means it is a success so why this is a success because it is not a reserved keyword age is not a reserved keyword the keywords are here it doesn't have anything like age so you have to be careful when naming the box you have to give something which is not in the reserved list okay so this is the first thing we saw about keywords now we we'll, let's look about symbols so these are the symbols available some of them you know like addition subtraction rest of the things we will learn okay so don't worry if you uh, don't understand everything in this and this is for multiplication and this is for division and this is uh, equal to operator where is it equal to um. <clears throat> anybody is, could see a single equal to Which column it is there? Single equal to is not here. Column two, you mean? Column two. Column to which row you are seeing a single equal to? Okay, okay, no problem. So single equal to is not here. Okay, so these are some of the symbols we know. Okay, these are the symbols which are supported over here. So it is saying enter any symbol to get more help. If you don't know any symbol, you can get more help here. Let's give plus. So it says plus operator. It is for. Oh, it gives the entire symbols meaning. So these are the things we saw like multiplication, division and this is something like matrix I think. Multiplication, division and so many things are there. So if you don't know anything in Python, you, you can always feel free to come to the help. Okay, that is the main intention to show this. So now uh, let me give you help again. So if you don't know what is uh, an integer, you can get help what is integer and uh, what is it capable of, what operations you can perform with an integer. You can get so many things. You may not understand everything in this, but you will get a lot of information in this. The same applies for strings, lists, tuple, everything. So guys, if you know 
these data types, just feel free to go and read the, the help message for them. Okay, now let's do some quick uh, calculations or some some kind of arithmetic calculation because Pranav was not able to catch up with uh, our last class. So I'm going to... Uh, why we need help? Because uh, we may not know everything which is there in the Python. Uh, it is a very vast subject. Okay, Sometimes we need help as a reference as a guide because sometimes uh, you may not have a tutor always right so python has a built-in tutor to teach you what is it and how it has to be used and all you can get help that is the first uh, help available for us for python only if you don't know anything then you can try with google or something So uh, assume I am going to create a, a variable called a equal to and b equal to 10. So you have to imagine that a is a box and it has 5 in it. Similarly, b is a box and it has 10 in it. Okay, 10. The number 10 is there in it. Now, if I press A and press enter, I get the value of A. What what does the what is the value present in the box? That is getting printed. And if I press B, what will I get, Pranav? press B and press enter, what value I will get? No, you can see here, right? A is having 5 and B is having not 6, it is having 10. So if I press B and if I press enter, what value I will get? No, I will get 10. I am not doing A plus B. I am just asking what is B. Got it? Yeah, correct. So what is A? Very good, you got it right. Yeah, A is 5 and B is 10. They, they will always remain the same until we are going to change that. That is why they are called as variables, okay. The value of the container can be changed. Container means what I am saying is, it is just imagine a box, a cardboard box, something like that. Imagine a box and it has the value of 5 inside that. And the name of the box is A. And there is another box. And the name of the box is B. And the value inside that is 10. Understood? So, now I am going to give a small arithmetic calculation. What is A plus B? What will be the answer? Um, no, that they are, uh, I'm giving, I'm adding two variables actually. So the value inside the variables will be added. Okay. So they have five and 10 respectively. So if I add a plus B, if I add a plus B, the value of A is 5 and the value of B is 
10 and they both will be added yes you will get 15 got it pranav pranav you are clear okay okay very good now I am going to ask a tricky question for you, Pranav. What will be the value of this? A plus B plus A. Very good. I think Pranav is picking up. What will I get? A plus B plus B. Is it? It's 30. A is 5. 5 plus 10, 15, okay, no problem, 20, 30, okay. So now you can, now you know how these variables are treated, right? Only the values inside them are being operated, right? Okay. Now I have a variable called name. This box is having a name in it. Uh, say or okay. So if I press name and if I press enter, what will I get? The value in it. And what value it has? It has a string. String is a collection of characters. So you get Thor. So imagine name is another uh, container and it is holding a collection of characters. Uh, on the other hand, if you take A and B, they are also a box, but they have numbers in it. They both are different. So you cannot do something like this name plus A. Is it legal to do this? Because A has 5 in it and name has Thor in it. Can we do addition? Pranav? No, name has Thor in it. Okay. Thor is a string. It is not a number. Okay. So you cannot add a number with the with the name of a person, right? So you will get a error message. Okay, you, you understood this? Why we are getting an error? Okay, okay, very good. But you can add name with name. That's very strange. Right? Python is very strange. You are not allowed to add a 
add a name with a number, but you are allowed to add a name with name. Can you guess what uh, what we will get? What output we will get? Or what result we will get? Because name had tar in it. If we are adding tar plus tar, what do we get? Error. Okay, that that's a good guess. That's a that's a good guess, Pranav. But uh, you know, Python it allows you to add strings together. It allows you to add. Yes, exactly. Tor tor. Okay. But you cannot add uh, a name with a string. Okay. You understood this? Very good. Okay. Now I am going to give superhero equal to n man now what will be the output of superhero plus superhero pranav can you tell me can it be tor it can it can't be tor right because name only has tor in it see here superhero has iron man in it so i am giving superhero plus superhero so what do i get Okay, if I give superhero, what do I get? Because superhero has Iron Man in it. If I give superhero and press enter, what will I get? Okay, let's see. See, I got Iron Man because superhero is another box, the name of the box and the value inside is, is Iron Man. So now you understood how we got Iron Man. Okay, Pranav. Or is it confusing? Okay, so now you tell me now for name you got Thor and for superhero you are getting Iron Man and what is superhero plus superhero? What do I get? Thor is in, uh, in, in the container name. See here.
सुपर हीरो एस आयन मैन इन इट ओके एंड माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज सुपर हीरो प्लस सुपर हीरो ओके सो आई गेट आयन मैन आयन मैन डू यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस और नो बिकॉज सुपर हीरो इज द नेम ऑफ द बॉक्स एंड आयन मैन इज द वैल्यू इन साइड इट सो वेन आई गेव सुपर हीरो प्लस सुपर हीरो इट सिंपली एडेड आयन मैन प्लस आयन मैन टूगेदर understood or not clear no problem you tell me i i can tell again also so what does name has in it you just read it and tell me what is name having it in in it no no i think uh, you have confused so what is name having in it names value in it see here what is name having inside it this one okay that is correct so that is what we are getting when i press name and i press enter i get thor do you understand this okay so similarly what is super super hero having inside it what is the value of super hero you can see here and tell what does super hero contain in it very good so that is what we got it when i pressed super hero and I, when i pressed enter i got the result as iron man okay so when i said super hero plus super hero i got iron man iron man do you understand this now okay so now you know name has star in it what if I, if i give name plus name what result i will get only one thor because there are two names in it name plus name
You mean Thor, Thor? Did you mean that? Okay, very good. So what about name plus name plus name? What do we get? Very good. Thor, Thor, Thor. Very good. You got it. Okay. Now, what do I get? Superhero plus name. What will be the result? Baumika, can you explain what we will get? In superhero, hero, the superhero, inside the box there is the name Iron Man. So Iron Man, the name is Thor. So we would get Iron Man Thor. Okay, very good. Yeah. So what she is saying is superhero has the value Iron Man in it and the name has the value Thor in it. So when you add Iron Man plus Thor, you get Iron Man Thor. You understood this? Pranav? Okay, okay. So, what is A? You had 5. What is B? You had 10. Okay, now I am going to say A is equal to 9. Okay. Now, what will be A? A and I, if I press enter, what value will come? Remember you had initially A as 5 in it. Now I have changed A to be 9. Now I am giving A and I am going to find the result. I am going to press enter. What value of A will be printed? No, we will get 9. I'll tell you why. Okay, so I'm going to create a box and in that box, the name of the box is A. Okay, that's the name I'm giving for the box, for the entire box. And the 
contents the value inside the box is 5 initially it was like this so when i asked what is the value of a it said 5 which is correct but later what did i do here i said a is equal to 9 okay so when i said a is equal to 9 what really happened in the computer's memory was this 5 is erased okay and this new value is updated so now you understand why we got a is 9 is it clear Prana, okay yeah new value is 9 now you understood this okay similarly we have b we have b is 10 okay now i am giving b is equal to 1000 and i am going to enquire the value of b now what will be the value of b very good you got it so we had a box called b and the box initially had 10 in it which is fine that's what we got we got 10 but when we executed this statement so the 10 is the 10 got erased in the memory it got erased and a new value 1000 is updated okay and that is why we got yeah we didn't try entering it yeah we got 1000 so is it clear these are the variable names we are using and these are the values in it so these are variables and uh, these are values the values are 9000 and all respectively the variable a had the value 9 and the variable b has the value 1000 so you got you got it right is it very clear and similarly you have a, a bigger box called name this is a, this is a slightly bigger box and the name of the box is name itself and what is the content it is having it is having tor it is a string okay it's not a number it is enclosed in double quotes and there is one more uh, box name or a variable called superhero and it is also a slightly uh, bigger box okay and the name of the box is superhero and what does it contain iron man okay you understood this so these are the variables superhero and name and the value inside them are iron man and thor respectively that is why when you did superhero plus superhero you got iron man iron man and when you add superhero plus name, what do you get? Can you guess what do you get for this one?
just iron man because we are doing superhero plus name and name has star in it you can see over here so what do i get just star because i am adding two different variables i am not just printing name i am adding superhero plus name superhero as iron man name as star in it so what do i get okay i'll i'll give an enter and i'll show you see superhero has iron man and name had thor if you add both together you get iron man thor you understood this is it clear okay what do we get when you add name plus superhero what will be the result can you guess excellent you got it you get thor plus iron man very good okay so a is 9 and b is 1000 what do we get a times b a multiplied by b what will be the output uh pranav uh, did, did you get my question what is a multiplied by b what value do we get you can see a has 9 you can see b has 1000 uh a has 9 and b has 1000 so 9 multiplied by 1000 you get 9000 right yeah you get 9000 okay do, don't worry about uh, mathematics here uh, i just wanted to uh, tell you how this uh, multiplication happens between numbers now i'll tell you how this multiplication can be used along with strings as well so this name has thor in it that is understood right okay so suppose if i give name multiplied by 3 what do i get can i multiply uh, a name with a number because name has a string in it it's a character okay that's that is for a times b 
now i am asking name times 3 name has star in it okay baumika can you explain what we will get an error error is it varsha can you explain you get thor three times yeah you get thor three times okay what baumika you forgot <laughs> okay okay no no it's not 48000 see this name right name is a string and name has thor in it that we understood and when we multiply it by 3 we get 3 times we get 3 repetitions so this is something like name plus name plus name you get tor 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 same result you get instead of adding it so many times like three times we are adding we can just multiply it by 3 so that you get the same result and it is even more compact also to do this so if you multiply by 4 what do we get pranav any idea see here when you multiply by 3 you got tor 3 times so if you multiply by 4 if you multiply tor by 4 what will be the output um i think you have mistaken it so i am asking about name multiplied by 3 so this name had tor in it if you multiply by 3 you get 3 times so if you multiply by 4 you should get 4 times right do you understand this this one and this one can you understand pranav okay yeah four times yes superhero <coughs> has iron man in it okay superhero times 2 what do i get what will be the result
para não. Uh, it's not names, it is superhero. Okay. See my question here. It's not about names. It is about superhero time 2. So I get Iron Man, Iron Man. Is it clear? Is this clear? What about superhero multiplied by 3? What do I get? get Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man. You get the value three times. This is the value. This is the variable. Okay. Is it clear or you need more help? Okay, that's good. You get Iron Man three times. Now I hope it is clear for you. Even if it is not clear, you I recommend you to watch the video because this video is being recorded and after I end the call, you will get the video over here. So you save it in your laptop or PC, then watch it all over again and try to understand it. Okay. Okay, good. So, I think uh, that should be okay for today because we haven't got uh, two more uh, of our people. They didn't join today. So, I'll be sending uh, assignments as I said and uh, you guys can uh, work out that and send it to me during the weekdays itself just before the class also if you send it you can do that uh, no worries about uh, missing one or two days uh, it's totally fine take your time but have uh, always uh, a touch on the subject so that you don't forget it okay so, Varsha, Akshita and Baumika, I will be sending separate homeworks for you. I will be sending it to your uh, parents uh, mobile, WhatsApp maybe. That is fine, right? WhatsApp is fine or uh, if you want, I can forward it to the Skype group also. Okay, WhatsApp is fine. <laughs> Yes, I'll do it in Skype as well. Okay, I have a separate group for you three guys. So I'll post uh, both uh, in Skype as well as in WhatsApp so that you don't miss it anywhere. Okay, and uh, do you guys have a Google account, a Gmail, anything like that? Okay, okay. So you have an email. Is it uh, Gmail? Okay, okay, okay. 
So, uh, Pranav, uh, okay, that's out loud, okay. Okay, well, why I ask? Because um, I will give you a website. It's called Hacker Rank. So, in this Hacker Rank website, I want you to create a, a user account, not for Pranav, because Pranav may find it uh, very difficult since he, he is just starting to learn. But for all others, Akshita and uh, Varsha and Baumika, please register here with your email account. That's the reason I asked for the email account. So you register here and solve these questions, these programming questions over there. They have around uh, uh, 120 questions. You may not be able to solve every one of them now, but you can try to attempt. Okay. Uh, no need to send it to me. You have to submit the answers there itself and automatically you, your rank will get updated over there. So you can send me how many programs you did and what is your current rank and points like this. You can share it this to me. Apart from the assignments, I want you guys to get engaged here in this Hacker Rank website. So you will be very highly competitive if you try to solve uh, questions from here. And uh, this will help you in your school uh, academics and all. You will excel more actually. And uh, no problem if you are not able to solve them. And that is why I am here. So you can just copy the program, uh, copy the question and send it to me or in the group. And then we can discuss that in the next week class. So that wherever you are stuck, right? So don't go to uh, all the advanced programs. So you can know the program by reading it itself, whether you, you can do it or you know the subject, you can know from the reading the question. So attempt only those kind of questions. And if you have doubts, you bring it to them and I will help you to solve them. So slowly, I want you guys to be in the rank like in the top 100 so that you are highly competitive. Okay, that's the goal. And along with that, I will be sending uh, homework assignments, which will not come from this hacker rank, which will come as a separate assignment. And Pranav, I suggest you to go through this video again so that you understand it and uh, take your own time and try practicing it also. Okay, so let's meet uh, on uh, 22nd, which is next Saturday. Any other doubts? <laughs>